even if it does keep wandering around. So, medium armor, not something I need, but with the engine destroyed, we now have access to the ancient tablet, which is what we need for the quest. Finally, everybody has it, and profit. I think. It says retrieve the tablet. Why isn't it updating? Huh. I think we all four need to have the check marks. There we go. Woot. So that is the quest. Not too difficult if you got a group. We still do need to head down here. Which will simply involve us leaving this questing slash group area and continuing on our merry way. So I don't know what else these guys need to do, although we do have Armed and Dangerous, which apparently is not here, but uh, I think they're following me just to follow. To be perfectly honest, that's alright. <laughs> I think Swish is just now realizing, wait a minute, what are we doing here? Hold on, do we actually have a quest here? No. Okay, so that's what that was. Um, on the minimap, or on the map in general, if you have a player that has a quest item or a quest mob or whatever that you don't have, their quest information will show up on your map, allowing you to easily assist in accomplishing said quest. It's a very nice feature. I'm glad they implemented something of that sort. But for now, I think we need to just head back out as we've pretty much done everything we can in this area. I had nothing to do with that, so I'm going to pass. So let's see if they have the other group quest. I at least want to show you show you guys this quest so that way you can uh, you can see it once. Now what I don't I actually don't know if I can share this or not. Armed and dangerous share. Accepted the mission. There we go. To do it, we need to go... Where do we need to go? Down here. Down into the other entrance of the tomb. And again, this is just kind of one giant valley area with several entrances to the same place. Well, not really the same place. Same general location, but different... Different rooms, they're isolated. Oh, come on. Auto loot. Yes. Alright, we have two of our four players. And I apologize if this goes a little slow. Unfortunately, I can't be like, Come on, guys, I'm trying to record here. You need to hurry up. Well, I could... Oh, my God. I could, but that would be... That'd be kind of rude. We'll make it easy for you. <laughs> oh, a group full of inquisitors would actually have... Hey, a data log. Somebody needed that. Excellent, let's move forward. Now, what is involved with this quest? Defeat and search Lord Sundar. He is a powerful and dangerous Sith. A Sith Lord, if you will. I love that lightning. Force lightning is just so cool. 
inner five-year-old inside of me just comes out and he's like, yeah! Totally shocking everything. Come on, when you play it, you know you're going to do the same thing, sound effects included. Uh, bonus mission, okay. Don't know what that was, but sure. Why not? Oh, I need to get this real quick. Apparently so does Quandar. And we are actually getting pretty close to being able to unlock our companion. I believe we should have that completed in the next video. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hopefully that's not a bug out. Although it, it looks like it. Oh dear. Alright, let's see if we can figure out what's up. Oh, nope. Enemy reinforcements arriving. Again, my apologies, just... No. Beta is beta. So in this quest, it looks like the mobs, even the regular ones, are elite. It's determined by the gold symbol down there. Elite, it looks like they kind of hurt. Although that being said, I don't think there's any class up to this point that has the ability to heal at this stage of the game. Corbon Commendation, that's always grand. And we'll let them heal up and proceed forward. <laughs> These guys sound really funny. Oh god, what's it sound like? Oh, that that nanny. That really, really ridiculously annoying nanny on TV. Totally forgot her name. We do have some epic music, so I can't complain too much. And this is the Inquisitor's one of the crowd control abilities. It lasts for, I believe, one minute. Any damage whatsoever will break it. It's essentially their sheep. I feel like I should have named myself Darth Tesla. That would actually be a really cool name now that I think about it. Mind controlled engineer. There's Lord Sundar. He has 1,607 hit points. Quite a beast, but I think we can take him. None of these mobs should respawn. We just need to watch out and make sure that we don't aggro droid or anything of that sort. It looks like we're going to opt to continue taking up these smaller mobs in the room, although at this point, I don't think this is really necessary. <laughs> that certainly wasn't. kind of curious what that little droid over there is. This is probably another commendation. Yep. And if you don't know what those are, I did explain it in a previous video, so you can feel free to go check that out. I'm pretty sure these are not needed to kill. But again, that's alright. So let's do it. I don't know if we can mind control. I haven't trained, or not mind control, but I don't know if we can whirlwind the boss. But either way, I think we are going to clear out this stuff as well. Well, let's just let's just get this over with. No use in standing around piddling for no reason. I like how we all did our casting in tandem. Three second delay for each.
the sorcerer does feel a little a little wonky to play from level one through nine or ten. Uh, pretty much until you get your specialization. Because you have this this weird mixture of Oh, I can melee, but at the same time, you know, I have these spells, but I can only cast them when I'm super close. So it sort of feels like this battle mage of sorts. But it, it gets a lot better when you are when you're able to focus on a specific tree. Or not really a tree, but you know what I mean. Get him off of him first. Knock out the weak guys. No sense in having them continue to do damage to us while we're working on the big guy. And then, yeah, sure enough, he's dropping. Pretty quick. Woot! Medium armor, and of course the signet ring. That is what we needed. So, with that being said, we still do need to get the lightsaber. We need to return purity. And I think that's it. Alright, cool. Well, let's go find that lightsaber. I believe we will need to exit. And it should be somewhere in the courtyard, maybe? Question mark? If it is, it'll probably involve grinding a bunch of guys, and I'm just going to pause the video and do that. I don't see any sense in waiting for RNG to dictate when we can proceed forward with the video. So we'll pop outside. Speaking of outside, somebody's totally just started burning firewood, and it smells great. The quest is, sure enough, find the lightsaber. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video. We'll see. Well, first we'll see if it's in this group. It might be. If it is, then okay. Yep. Maybe. Woot! Nice! Alright, so we can head back to town now. We just have to find our way out. So I am actually just going to go pause this video, and I'm going to turn this in. I will see you at the quest giver. We have arrived at the first quest giver, Efren Zell. Made it. Did it work? Did the red engine produce an inscription? I fed it blood, and it gave me this tablet. The tablet of Tulak Hord, inscribed in the language of the ancient Sith. Yes, oh yes. These are Tulak Horde's teachings, the very methods he used to build the terrible machine below. I have dreamed of this tablet, dreamed of looking upon Tulak Horde's teachings and studying the arcane science of the dark side. I am honored you give me this opportunity. Take these small relics I've unearthed that deserve to be used by a true Sith. Not a reward, but recognition of your strength. Now I must excuse myself, and my research must continue. It will be some time before the tablet gives up all its secrets. Woot. And we have rare pants. Rare pants. Pants are indeed rare for me. I never wear pants. Not even in public. Nope. Next quest turn in. Involves heading right up here. So I think we'll just uh, zip right over. Whoop! Ta-da! We're here. Mission drop box. Got ourselves a pair of rare boots. Next turn in is, I believe, in here. Yes. The secret of two accord, rogues, and jailbreak. Now, who we turn them into, I don't actually know. I know the guy down down at the base of the statue is one of them. But I'm not familiar enough... Whoa! Keyboard falling off my desk. I'm not familiar enough with, uh, with the quest to know where they are by heart. And you see how some people do have a title? You get them pretty much at important stages during your main quest. Also Step for other forward. actions. 
I assume you've completed my task. I will take the holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. I couldn't agree more. The holocron. It glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the Academy. And only one of the Overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. You must be terrified that the true Sith might become extinct. I fear for the Sith as a whole. And I would honor the ancestors who gave me strength. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. Right, so we got ourselves some bracers. Next up, we need to go in here. First, we're going to turn this into the Jedi, and then we'll turn this in to Overseer Harkoon. Or Harkon. I know you. We talked before. My head's clearer now, Sith. It's all here. The comlink, my lightsaber, everything I hid. You're going through with it. With all this, I... once the guards change shifts, I think I can slip out of the academy. But what about you? May you be okay? Korriban is my home, Jedi filth. I fear nothing here. I should have remembered that. I apologize for my concern. I still don't understand why you're doing this, but I thank you. If everything's settled, I'll be leaving. As you say, Sith. Thank you again. I'm, I'm sorry the Empire took you in instead of the Jedi. If things had been different, maybe you could have been part of the Order. But then I couldn't run around and torture people and have fun. Oh. I'm happy where I'm at. Well, I have to turn in this back to the lady at the front gates, and then we'll go turn in the fun the main quest. <laughs> I saw that mouse droid and that, that uh, NPC walk running by. It reminded me of a Scooby-Doo thing where you see where they're running through like the different doors chasing each other. So the Jedi is preparing his escape. You did well. Not perfectly, but I have confidence the operation will succeed. Our business is concluded. I will make note of your assistance in my report. I don't need your praise. No, I imagine you don't. Take these tokens as payment for your service, and know that no Jedi can threaten Korriban. Now go. Hey, medium credit box. And uh, we got eh, a decent bit, I think. So finally, we can turn in the main quest. Woot. That's all we have. Almost. Eh, forget it. We'll turn in rogues in a minute. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> the last thing you say. I, I don't even... Oh, that's funny. Yes, he is remarkable, magnificent. You, you slave. Wait, no, acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? Yes, my lord. I found the holocron. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. Sith lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me. How did you manage it? Aliens. I had to sacrifice seven Tukata and eat their hearts. Really? How strange. It didn't work when I tried it. Your work so far uh. in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Horde's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. Really? Harkon seems to favor Fawn. Harkon's only purpose is to weed out the weak. Beyond that, his opinion means nothing. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. 
So that is the Lord Zash fellow that we have been hearing so much about. I was just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? Well, first Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am, and then we got talking, and I guess I lost track of time. Just like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a gizka if you ever crossed her path. You're not worthy of her presence. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Of course. As always, I'm brilliant. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the Academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. Please tell me Fawn can come. We'll have so much fun. Fawn has been training at combat his whole life. He was born to be Sith. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Ugh, God, every time I hear him talk. <sighs> so, we have one more thing to do, and that's turn in rogues. And then, of course, I'll come back and watch if that guy's dancing. Oh, man, I don't know why, but that just, that kills me. So I don't know where to turn in rogues, but I think while we're up there, we might as well do that training quest as well. Alright, rogues in here. Excellent. But first, we have important business to discuss last, with Lord Samus. Disciple. So we have level 2 shock. Uh, level 3 shock. Wow, I have not trained in a long time. Whirlwind, Force Lightning, Recklessness. Ah, cool. We'll check that out later. Be gone. Ah, approach. I've heard rumors of your exploits in the tombs. You will follow in the footsteps of failed apprentices. Ones sent to slay renegades and crack the shells of armored droids. You fared better. I'm just here for the exercise. Nonetheless, you have done the Academy a service. The mining droids not only protected the slaves who subverted their program, but threatened to damage the tombs of the ancients. That would have been unforgivable. And for succeeding where others died, you will be rewarded. Hooray! I am very likely to recommend it to a friend. As a matter of fact, I already have. Wait, there's more of me to learn? dark secret shall I oh, share Oh, look at that. You? I leveled again. Unbreakable will. Oh, okay, cool. That lets me basically break free of immobilizing effects and such. So I did pick up a couple things, and I'll talk about this while we're on route. Whirlwind, which I showed you before, that's that uh, crowd control. Do we go here? Sith Academy level 3. We go here. Okay, so we just go around. I also picked up Electrocute. It's basically a moderate damage ability, but also gives a longer stun than Shock. 4 seconds as opposed to 3 does have a minute cooldown, however. Also, Recklessness, which increases the force critical... Oh, wait. Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. Now, now. You really don't know whether I like this or not. I'm sorry, girl. I liked you. I really did. The Harker made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. 
If you're going to kill me, then do it. I'm sorry. I really am. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. <laughs> exactly. Who says I wouldn't enjoy killing you? So let's actually do this. So there we go. That's just an example of how you use the crowd control while we deal with this person. And then we'll hit this and finish him off. Very easy. And I'm not going to jump down there and fall to my death. But I will go down here. Is it funny that I tried to hit spacebar and ski again? Oh. <laughs> Slash facepalm. You're gonna be surprised to see me. Can I kill you yet? Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some Dark Lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fawn are the last ones. So I just kill Fawn and I'm Sith, right? This shouldn't take long. Wrong. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? What exactly is a Dashard? They're a lost race of assassins that the ancient Sith used to devour their force-using enemies. This one will probably eat you the moment he's freed. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fawn for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fawn's already started, so my advice? Run, slave. Run. Ahem. <clears throat> One moment, please. Lord Zash! What are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No, of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last Acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulak Horde's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. Well, well, well. It's a good thing I didn't start running, isn't it, Harkon? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, my dear Acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Dashard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Dashard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I have yet to meet a danger I can't defeat. I will return when both Acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, Acolyte. Well, we have our, uh, we have our work cut out for us, folks. I'm going to go ahead and... Whoa. He is... Ugh. I'm going to go ahead and leave the video here, and we will continue on in our possibly final in Sith Inquisitor video. I say final because I don't want to go on to the next planet, um, because we have other plans ready for that. So I think what I'm going to do next is do a video of 1 to 10, or 1 to 9, whatever it is to get to the first planet, of the Bounty Hunter. So yeah, that's pretty much the next thing you can look forward to. 
And as far as we are concerned now, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this up. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you thumbs it up. That helps me out a lot. And of course, if you want to be notified of new Star Wars videos, be sure to subscribe. I do also have a couple cool collaborative projects coming in the works involved with this game, plus others. So be sure you subscribe to catch those as well. And with that being said, that's pretty much all I've got. I will see you in the next video.